What's up guys? Justin here with the renderingessentials.com back with a quick Lumion tutorial for you. So I figured out that being Christmas it would be a good day to uh, just create kind of a quick tutorial on creating a snowy scene with a fireplace inside of Lumion. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright so this is a model that I've uh, used before. This is the one that I brought all the way from SketchUp into Lumion from start to finish and I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on I want to add a fire inside of this fireplace then I want to add snow to the outside. So for the fire, we're going to add the effect for the fire using um, build mode. So we're going to be inside of build mode and we're just going to click on this button for effects and then we're going to click the button for place. And I will note this is in Lumion 9, so this may look a little bit different if you have a different version. And uh, you can see how if you go through your effects library, there's a lot of different effects, but in this case we want to click on the fire effect. And uh, we're just going to kind of switch through these until we find one that makes the most sense. In this case, probably the second one right here. And we're just going to place that in here. And in this case, I think it probably makes sense to just kind of take my camera inside of that space so that I can kind of center that. And then I'm just going to use the select tool and I'm just going to move this around and kind of center it until I'm happy with it. And uh, you can see how when I did that it moved it outside of the space which I don't want. So I'm just going to move back into this space and there's probably a better way to do this but um, this seems to work pretty well for me. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this fire and I'm just going to have it selected and I'm just going to adjust the options for my emitter area size and you can adjust the number of particles in here you can adjust how far this spreads out so you can adjust all those different things using these settings so you can see how I don't want to spread this out too far I also want to make sure the fire stays inside this space but you can see how you can come in here and adjust this really easily you can adjust the size if you want to as well as the color can adjust using this slider right here and the brightness but you can see how this is really easy to adjust just by adding that adding that effect. And so now that we've added that effect, what we want to do is we want to use our photo mode in order to make kind of a winter scene. And in this case, I want to create a scene that's going to be from the outside. But let's go ahead and click on photo mode in order to start this off. So you can see how right now with the settings I have in here, um, this is giving me kind of a sunny summer scene. Well, what I want to do is I want to take my camera outside to probably about here and so I'm just going to click on this 9 and then I'm going to click on store camera. What that's going to do is that's going to store this camera for our use. And so what I want to do in this case is I want to start off and I always use the custom styles as a building block. And so I'm going to start off with this overcast style. What that's going to do is that's going to give me kind of a gray wintry looking sky. And so when I add the gray wintry looking sky you can see how this gives us a good palette to start adding our snow effect. And so you're going to find the snow effect by going into uh, the FX tab. You're going click on weather and climate and you're going to click on precipitation. You can see how when I click on precipitation this immediately brings this precipitation view in but it's in here as rain. Well, what we want to do is we want to click this slider we want to move this over so that it's a hundred percent snow not rain. So as I move that over you can see how this adds snow to all of my surfaces everything like that. And uh, what we want to do is you can see how this precipitation phase slider, what this lets us do is this lets us select if we're at the very beginning of a snowstorm, if we're in the middle where everything's covered in snow, or if we're at the end where everything starts to melt off. Well, in this case, I'm going to put this in the middle. I want this to be kind of a heavy snow. Then the other thing I want to do is I want to adjust the size of my particles. So in this case, I want the particles, I want more of them because I want them in my camera view. And I also want them to be bigger because I really want this to be kind of a, a snowy exterior scene. And you can see how these are getting rendered um, inside of your viewport. And you can see how as you click and drag this, these particles get bigger and smaller. So in this case, I'm going to make these pretty big. And then... In this case, you could add extra fog, but it really doesn't matter right now because there's nothing really in the background. So we're just going to kind of leave this as is. And uh, I'm not going to do anything with the block bias or the block by plants. So those allow you to set if the plants block the snow from getting to the ground. But in this case, I'm just going to leave this as is. So you can see how we didn't have to make very many changes at all. And so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to click the button for render photos. And I'm going to go ahead and set this to 1920 by 1080. I'm going to click on it. And as you can see, I always run a bunch of test images, but we're just going to call this snowy house rendering. I'm going to click OK. 
and I'm gonna let this render. And you can see how this does a really good job of rendering all of the snow on your surfaces as well as the particles in here. So you can create this snowy look of your of your model really easily. So that's where I'm going to end this video. I just wanted to say Merry Christmas to all of you. Also a Happy New Year. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And uh, as always, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. If you're using this, if you have any great tips or tricks, I always love hearing those and incorporating those into the videos. Um, so as always, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.